We are Swiftkey. Um, our app is, you'll have heard of uh, predictive text. So this effectively is more like the next generation. It's uh, leaning more towards predicting sentences. I mean, the company started out um, as, a, as a language technology company. Um, you know, so we, we built this engine. Um, the company started um, roughly two years ago. Um, we demoed our, our early stage um, application at this time last year at Mobile World Congress. The, the underlying technology understands the context and the string of language. So it understands the relationships words have together. So it knows when you input certain words, what should be coming next. Hello all, hello everyone. These are words that are likely to come next. So very quickly you can say if you want to ask uh, a common message like uh, what time are we going to dinner. So with very few keystrokes, because it understands the context of the words and the relationship between them, with very few keystrokes you can build up a sentence very, very quickly. It also learns the way that you yourself use language. Also allows you to scan your um, Gmail, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, RSS feeds, which uh, means that it'll get a bigger picture far more quickly of how you use language. So how so the words, that, the options that come up here are much more likely to be tailored to how you would speak. Yeah, so any time when you're using your Android device uh, that you would normally see the Android keyboard, you will instead see SwiftKey. Um, it uses our language technology, which we call Fluency. So our Fluency engine is, that's the, uh, the kind of the maths and the probabilities that understands how language works. And Fluency runs across all platforms. Um, so, you know, this really does have kind of wider applications. Although we're only demoing SwiftKey um, on the Android market and we don't have a, an iPhone app, um, we can see a lot of uses of our language technology, you know, beyond the Android platform. We, we currently, we don't have an iPhone application because they don't allow us to change the keyboard. Um, although, uh, you know, we, we're always uh, kind of um, in talks. Uh, we want to see SwiftKey across, across all platforms. We want to see the technology used everywhere. Um, for marketing, we've mainly, We've uh, kind of kept the, the budget small. We've been mainly focusing on uh, kind of technology blogs uh, so far. So we're very we're very well known, kind of in, in the technology circles. Um, we have a, a lot of kind of uh, word of mouth advertising. A lot of people recommend it to their friends um, because they find it helps them so much. Currently, we sell on the Android market. Um, we have a, a two-week trial period, um, and then we sell for uh, two dollars after that. Um, but what, what we're doing is we're seeking contracts with, uh, with OEMs, uh, with network operators, to get SwiftKey pre-installed on devices. Um, so uh, there's a company called Inc, um, INQ in the UK, they've just announced a couple of phones and we've pre-installed on those. Um, so that's, that's the first time that you'll see SwiftKey pre-installed on devices. Um, but you know, it's a really exciting time for us at the moment. We, we, we're talking to kind of all the big names, the you know, OEMs and network operators. Um, you know, we're really kind of pushing the pre-installations of SwiftKey. Uh, so two two days ago, um, the Mobile Premier Awards here was sort of the, the kind of the final of the uh, you know the app, app circus um, app competition. Um, we were we were voted the best app. Uh, so this is not just on Android but across all platforms. So you know we're really kind of uh, proud and, and honoured to have been given that award.